Hi, today I'll be breaking down Say a Little Prayer by Aretha Franklin. Fantastic song. I'll be playing this on electric guitar. You are more than welcome to play an acoustic. It sounds fantastic either way. I'll be breaking this down into its simple-ish picking pattern and some beautiful sounding chords. I'll be doing this in the open position today with easier chords to navigate the song. It makes it a little bit more straightforward to learn and play. If you then want to go on and play to the original pitch of the song, put a capo on fret number two. I'll break the song down into three sections. The chords for section one are E minor seven, A minor seven, D seven, and G major seven. We then go to C and B7. Taking a closer look at the picking pattern, for the E minor 7 chord, we will have the thumb on the E string, the first finger will be on the D string, and then the next two fingers, the middle finger and the third finger, will be on the G and the B, and then the first finger will come back to the D. When we move to the A minor 7, we drop our thumb down the string, but keep the other fingers in exactly the same place. When we move to the D7, we'll drop all the fingers down one string. And when we go to the G major 7, we'll do the same picking pattern that we did for the E minor 7. We'll then move to the C, which will be the same picking pattern that we used for the A minor 7. And the B7 will be the same picking pattern again. Let's look at how many times we play each chord. Twice on E minor 7. Four times on A minor 7. Once on D7. Twice on G major 7. Twice on C, twice on B7. And we repeat all that again for the song. For section two, C, D7, B minor, E minor 7, G, The picking pattern for these chords is the same premise as the first section. The C is the same, we play it once. The D7 is the same, we play it once. The B minor is the same as the C. The E minor 7 will be just doing thumb, first finger, third finger and middle finger and then we'll be playing them all at the same time. We'll then move our thumb down to the A string to get a slash chord to change the bass note of that chord so we get this. That becomes an E minor 7 over B 
and then we change to the G chord and keep our fingers and thumb on the same strings and play them again all together. So it sounds like this. So that section plays twice. The little bit that goes on the end of that, which I'm going to call section three, where she says, It only means heartbreak for me. And then we go back to the beginning again. So for that section, we've got a C chord. It's a D7 next. So we could play it there. I really like to slide the C up two frets and add my pinky to what now creates a D7 in a different position. Then we go back to the C and then we go back to the B7. And because it works with the sound and the rhythm of the vocals, we get that nice percussive. So for the C, we're playing the middle four strings, thumb on the A string, first finger on the D string, middle finger and third finger on the G and B. Only means. Do that three times. Slide the C chord up so your first finger's on the third fret. We'll put the pinky on the G string of the fifth fret. Play that twice. Move the C back down. Play it once. And then strum with your thumb. The B7. And then we can pick to join it back to the next verse. Four times. Thumb on the A string. First finger on the G string. Middle finger on the B string. Two, three, four. If I play that all from the beginning. So now I've got a little extra bit for the ending that I'd like to do instead of playing the B7 chord four times. So I'm just going to run you through that. It's a little bit more complicated, but it sounds awesome. It's a descending bass rundown and a melody on the piano that you can hear in the song. Here we go. So from the B7 chord, I'm going to keep this third finger here and I'm going to slide it, pick the G string and slide it to fret number four. I'm going to bring my first finger to fret number two on the G string and I'm going to play the G string and the open A with the thumb at the same time. That gives us the octaves of A 
I'm then gonna do open G string with the, with the middle finger on this hand and bring my middle finger on this hand to the E string and play the E string and the G string together. That gives us the octaves G. I'm then gonna do the octaves of F sharp. First finger, second fret, E string. Third finger, fourth fret, D string. I'm going to bring my first finger down to the D string, second fret, play the E that's there and the open E string. And then I'm going to do single strings from there. So I'm going to go down to the first fret of the D. And then I'm going to go to the third fret of the A. And then that brings us back to the second fret of the A, which is part of the E minor seven chord. So this sound, is a beautiful rundown to join those two chords together. So that covers the majority of the song. There is an outro that uses a variation of the chords we've covered. Have a good fun playing that and I shall see you next time. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and good luck with your progress. It's a cracking tune.